Triceratops, old three-horned face. The most famous of the horned dinosaurs. At eight tons, this would certainly have been a super heavyweight for T-Rex to take on. We've only got three fossil skeletons of Triceratops to go on, and none of these are complete. But we can tell from its size and its huge skull that this dinosaur would have made a formidable opponent. Mind you, that beak-like mouth tells us that it was a plant eater, probably not the type to go looking for trouble. So, although Triceratops definitely lived in North America at the same time as T-Rex, did they ever fight? In fact, is there any evidence at all that they had anything to do with each other? These are the questions that have been keeping the scientists glued to their fossils. I went to meet Greg Erickson, who has an amazing fragment of a pelvis from a 65 million year old Triceratops. On the pelvis, he'd found some intriguing wound marks. For instance, you look here, there's some gouges along the top. There's a really deep puncture mark right here. In fact, if one looks all over this specimen, you'll find 80 of these punctures and cut marks. These are bite marks. So, who was the culprit? Who'd been chomping chunks out of this Triceratops? We have a real whodunit mystery here. But Greg was on the case. Using a standard forensic technique, he pushed some dental putty into one of the deep wound marks in order to identify the mystery diner. Aha, there we go. We have a very nice cast here of the tooth. Now this is a shape that's very familiar to me. This is uh, reminiscent of a theropod dinosaur tooth and it's a very nice match for tooth of this animal, Tyrannosaurus rex. I think this is pretty good smoking gun evidence that Tyrannosaurus rex fed upon this Triceratops 65 million years ago. So, this is the first time that we can say for sure that T-Rex did at the very least eat Triceratops. But did T-Rex have to fight for its supper? I mean, possibly just found this dead animal lying in its path. <laughs> 